whoops <laughs> what's going on YouTube it's your boy Aiden here and it is Friday early morning in this Dowling household we are very very excited this morning Jane Lee has been adorably singing and dancing in her shower all morning that's because Today, this afternoon, we leave to head to Portland so that we can stay overnight and catch a super early flight tomorrow morning from Portland to Honolulu, Hawaii for our very first vacation in seven years that we've been together. So we are very stoked and excited. That's the, the vibe we got going on right now. But uh, for this video, I wanna talk a little bit about um, kind of a slightly more serious topic but we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it light for for the concept of the uh the energy today okay so um as you guys know i had ryan casada here the other day and we made a youtube video together about bottom surgery now you know it wasn't about bottom surgery it was more like what are your opinions on bottom surgery because neither of us have had bottom surgery so we didn't feel like it was really right to have an opinion i mean to have like actual information on bottom surgery but rather just opinions on bottom surgery and so you can check out the video i'll put the link below it's nothing too long or too crazy i pretty much just say the long story short we both say that we don't really uh feel bottom surgery is right for us right now just because of where it is medically and that we've heard some really terrible stories and i did mention in the video that i am a little biased or rather a lot biased because i've only met people who have had really serious complications. Um, I have about four to five friends, two of them being relatively close friends. They've all had really bad experiences with bottom surgery. And so um, somebody had left a comment and I tried to find this comment. Now I probably only took about three to five minutes because it's still morning, I'm still drinking this cup of coffee, and yeah, I just was trying to find the comment because I had read it really brief last night, and like, I don't even think I read the whole thing, but, um, but the concept of the comment was that like, you know, uh, you, know you, you, sh you shouldn't be talking negatively about bottom surgery because the people who have good surgeries feel really shameful about sharing their good experiences. And so I, I, I can't relate to this on a bottom surgery, but I do relate to this on a top surgery concept. And so I thought it was an interesting topic because it, it I get it. Like I get what this person was saying was like, listen, like you need to stop saying, talking about like bad surgeries, especially if you haven't had surgery, which I understand. But I do think that me and Ryan prefaced it in the video that like we don't have bottom surgery. This is just our opinions. And I even said like I'm legitimately pretty biased because I have only had negative encounters um, that and, and that's a lie. I've had I've had one person that has met many people, but I've only met that one person who had a really great surgery who I, I didn't see it, but they claimed it worked great and everything was fine. So the comment. So, um, sorry. <laughs> Can you tell that it's less, like a little early? I understand where the person's coming from in this comment. I really do because um, when I used to first got my top surgery and I was posting a lot of pictures about top surgery, I was made to feel ashamed about my top surgery because other people have had bad surgeries and it, it you know it just was it, it, and I felt this shame at first I was like oh my gosh like they're so right like I'm not even being sensitive to these other people about their top surgery and what I didn't realize was that like I'm not even allowing myself a moment to celebrate my top surgery which we all know like top surgery is a lot of money money that we don't have lot most people don't have lying around you know what I mean? And I worked my ass off to get that top surgery. And it was a, a it's a long process. It's it's weeks and months of recovery. You know what I mean? Like I shouldn't feel ashamed to post pictures of my top surgery. Now, granted, I shouldn't like go on other people's surgery posts and be like, your surgery looks like crap. Too bad you didn't go to my doctor or whatever, right? Because that's just straight up rude, mean, and kind of being an asshole. But I thought this was like, I don't know, like I, I knew, I, I, I related in the, in the top surgery concept. And so this is what I want to say to you. Like, if you worked your ass off for something, do not be ashamed to talk about it. There's tons of people who like, this is a basic example, but like, 
Tons of people go to college, and many people fail, flunk out, they have to leave, they don't finish, they don't get their degree, or they have a degree, but they don't get a job. You know what I mean? And there's tons of people who go to college, get degrees, get jobs, and have this, you know, very, you know, standard college life. And, and you can't, like, be, you can't, like, not talk about your great experience at college because this person had a bad experience at college. You know what I mean? What you need to do is you need to just be aware that other people have bad experiences. And so you need to keep that in the back of your mind when you're talking about something. You know what I mean? You want to generalize, you know? So I just thought this was interesting. And I just want to say, like, if you have bottom surgery or top surgery or whatever surgery and it's been fantastic, share those stories. Like, we need to hear more stories of positivity, of good things that happen within our community because that's how we stay uplifted it's a little bit of inspiration for them they see you going through something and accomplishing it then that means that they might be able to go through the thing that they want to go through and accomplish it so like if you have bottom surgery if you have top surgery like don't be ashamed about it really don't and like don't let do not allow people that have bad surgeries come on your page and talk shit about your surgery. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like there's really this, this miss, you know, like you shouldn't feel ashamed for, oh, little squirrel. You shouldn't feel ashamed for successes in your life. You just shouldn't. Now, you shouldn't rub them in people's faces that haven't been as successful in that specific area as you. But I just, you know, and, and, and so that's what the comment was. It was kind of like, you know, you need to stop talking about surgeries that are bad because you're making people who have good surgeries feel ashamed to share their surgeries. And I just feel like, uh, you know, that that shouldn't be the case. You know, you should you should feel proud to share your surgery. You know, like I used to be like, people would be like, oh, you have so many shirtless pictures on you, blah, 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 on your Instagram and blah. And you know what? I used to feel ashamed about it. And then one day I woke up and was like, you know what? Fuck you. Like, seriously, I worked my ass off for this surgery. I started a company with this surgery. I started a nonprofit because of this surgery. I worked my ass off three years of wearing a binder before I got surgery in the hot Florida sun. You know what I mean? Now I actually have surgery and I have to be ashamed about it because it, because I like it. You know, that doesn't feel right. You know, that it, it doesn't feel right. It feels just as bad as if somebody who has a great surgery goes to somebody who has a surgery that they don't think is so great and then talks smack about their surgery, but compliments their own. That's, just as dirty to me as telling somebody like you shouldn't share your good story because you know it makes other people feel bad you know like it's okay and it's great you should have awareness that other people don't have as good of surgeries that should be aware like you should have that awareness you should have that consciousness you should remember that when you're talking to somebody maybe they don't have the best surgery so speak very much in I statements like I love my surgery and I really enjoyed my doctor and don't make general station statements so yeah I just wanted to say like I, I wish I could find that damn comment I'm gonna look a little bit more when I'm editing this to see if I can throw it up so I just want to say that kid who wrote the comment like I totally feel you I get you, like I, I feel where you're, where you're coming from. And the person that you mentioned, you mentioned somebody's name and I'm, I don't I don't wanna say the wrong name because then like, you know, the skepticism of who I'm talking about goes out there. I don't even know the person. So I just wanna say like, I, I respect your comment, I get it and I see where you're coming from. And I just feel like if you know that person that you said feels ashamed to talk about their bottom surgery because it is good and it was successful, like we need to tell that person that they should be sharing their story because we need to hear all sides of this like octagon i mean it's like it's not just one side you know what i mean it's like multi sides it's like tetris like all these different sides putting them together you know making this one big collage so i just feel like we should share all of our stories good bad ugly amazing beautiful i mean i think it's important that we get all different aspects because like we're all gonna have different times in our lives that go really well and go really bad and I think we should share those things I think that it helps other people I mean I understand how sometimes you can feel jealousy or envy when you look at somebody who has something that you may want or um, is accomplishing something that you've always wanted to accomplish believe me I see that a lot you know what I mean and I get jealous and envious but then I realize like you know what like just like I you know, like I shouldn't 
make them feel bad about their accomplishments because I didn't accomplish the thing I wanted or I don't have what they have, you know? And I'm not trying to be unsensitive to people who have surgeries that they don't feel in line with, but I just feel like, you know, you shouldn't shame someone because they're having a great time. You know, if you feel like they're doing it in a malicious way, then yeah, maybe you say like, hey, I'm really happy that you're proud with your surgery, but just remember that other people out there don't have it as good, and so I just wanna remind you of that. Sometimes it's good to be reminded of our uh, luxuries in life, you know what I mean? When they become an, like every single day and you kind of get used to them. So I'm gonna end the video here, I didn't want to be too long, but really quick before I go, I wanted to say that I will be recording while in Hawaii. I'm going to be limited on social media, I'm still gonna be posting on social media, but I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like collect all my photos and then post them all at once, every day or every night or morning or something. Genuinely, I just really wanna have some really intimate time alone, together, um, sharing energies and just just being present with one another and sometimes we realize that when we go on trips or you know when we go on hikes and stuff like those type of trips sometimes we're on our phone a lot and we're like recording or whatever and not really being present with one another because then we're not just recording we're uploading and hashtagging and commenting and liking and um, so we want to keep that to a minimum so we're gonna try to have these chunks of time throughout the day where like, okay, for the next hour we're gonna be on our phones and then we're gonna put on airplane mode and back and forth like that. So I will be around, you will see the adventures we go on as well as I'm going to still be putting up YouTube videos. I'm gonna try to get Jane Lee in one of these videos next week. I know you guys all love when I have her on here, so I will try to do that for y'all. And yeah, so if you like this video, if you um, wanna share the video, please feel free. You have my permission to go share it on whatever media outlet you would like as well as if you like the video please hit the like button that helps me a lot with this channel um, and also if you haven't subscribed yet check out my past videos uh, and if you enjoy them and you've enjoyed this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button I appreciate all the love happy Friday and I hope you enjoy your weekend and I'll catch you on Monday peace Come on.